Hello mop mates, welcome to the Bothy, somewhere in the Irish Sea. I'm Ralphie, I am the host of this channel called Ralphie.com and what I do on YouTube are whiskey reviews. And I want to take this opportunity at the end of 2022, if you're fairly new to whiskey, <clears throat> if you're getting your bearings, if you're finding your flavours that suit your palate and finding the quality bottles that suit your budget, then uh, I'm here to help. So if you enjoy the content, please subscribe, click like and of course leave a wee comment as I introduce three examples of great new distilleries well worth looking out for that have just opened in the last few years and now they're bringing their single malt whiskey to market. So have got three great new distilleries to look out for. Starting with, here we go, the big reveal. Wolfburn, Highland Distillery. Um, a distillery with experience in producing whiskey and already setting some consistent standards, although <clears throat> bottlings are still relatively young. The one I'm recommending to you, the version I'm recommending, is the Father's Day bottling. So it's got a kind of happy Father's Day uh, tag on it, but there's still the bottle's still available. It, you don't have to keep it till a, a Father's Day. Bottled at 54.2%, a limited release of 980 bottles, because small distilleries are limited in what they produce, and particularly at the beginning, they'll be putting out what's called small batches of their product. This is, because it says it in the label, very important, natural colour, and non-chill filtered. Right, so a limited edition, accessible, relatively affordable, cask strength, young single malt whiskey. And there's something else about it, which is really quite important to bring to your attention. And the distillery, quite rightly, is emphasizing this on the label when it says quarter cask whiskey. Quarter casks are small casks, a lot smaller than the larger standard casks, and when they're maturing whisky, they do it a lot quicker. As a result of which, you get more mature whisky at a younger age. So this is a very good reason to look out for any new distillery with a young, non-age statement product which says quarter casks on it. This is the knowledge, I'm just sharing it with you. Um, my final notes on Wolfburn. Um, interesting, characterful, and we have certainly not seen the best yet, far from it. Um, it's one of these distilleries which is quietly consolidating its reputation, and it's one definitely to look out for in the future. Next, we have Glen Weavis, 2018. Glen Evis, you may have never heard of this distillery. This was a, a crowdfunded distillery, which again has experience in the production of the what they're making. And this is a special release bottling at 46.5% um, strength, bottled in 2022 distilled in February 2018, so roughly about four years old, and uh, bottled in, give me a second, <laughs> so I can read the label. There we are. Bottles in batch, and within the batch, 8,000. A very interesting little distillery which has made absolutely no, no noise online as such, they're letting the whiskey in the bottle, doing the talking, and a lot of experienced whiskey drinkers are really seriously impressed by the quality of this. And uh, I would conclude by saying, on the back of the label, non-chill filtered, natural colour. And it says also, matured for three years and 60% 
First Fill Tennessee Whiskey, 25% First Fill Oloroso, and 15% Refilled Whiskey Casks. Wonderful, useful, essential information when you're paying a premium for the product. Finally, Isle of Rassi, making a lot of noise, certainly getting a lot of identity as to the brand out in a fairly, fairly short space of time. Um, this is another small distillery producing small batch or installments whiskey and uh, it's getting talked about uh, by the people who are whiskey fans because they're definitely doing it right. The cask policy of this small distillery is very thoughtfully and articulately done. So all three of these whiskies I will be reviewing on this channel early in 2023 in case you're interested in watching. So there you have it, three great new distilleries producing great new single malt whiskies, well worth the watching. I'm Ralphie, hope you've enjoyed this and um, and, and that's us, yeah. See this whiskey stuff? It's never dull, never dull. There's always something happening. And I would conclude by saying that over the next few years, there's going to be about 70 or odd new distilleries. We're going to be spoiled for choice. And uh, you'll find online the reviews of the best of the new distilleries compared to the rest of the new distilleries. But by and large, I think standards are going to be high. Prices will also be high, but the standards will be high. And uh, hopefully they will be available, at least some of them, where you are, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye.